G'day, how you going? Ian Aplis here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my live stream where I'm going to paint a tropic sunset today. I'm going to use a 12 by 16 inch canvas cloth and the colours I'm using will be in the description below as this is live and I can't get them running up the screen. I've got a horizon line right here. I've got a, a middle block of land out there. I've got me shore here, okay? I'm deliberately smudging it with my fingers so it's just happening. And I'm going to have a, a pandanus tree coming here like that in the side of the painting going, hey, he's all gown. And from our beautiful sky sunset, there's going to be a palm pointing right out there like that, okay? That's what's going to happen on the canvas. So you know what the guru is all about. Okay, I'm going to just quickly pick up some craft white, soft titanium white. It's just a soft titanium white. So what I like to do is just get this brush and we'll quickly, listen to me quickly, I'm always quickly, get this mapped in for the sky area. Now I'm just going to wipe this brush. Okay, I've got to wipe all that off there. I'll use this big, chunky, this towel's getting, turning into concrete, <laughs> all the dry retarder in it. Um, where are we? I'm going to go Indian yellow next. Indian yellow. Boom, biddy, boom, boom. And I want to come across my horizon line. Right about there. Right about there. Straight across. Okay, back down here, we've got powerful permanent alindrin. We're going to mix this with the yellow Indian. With the Indian yellow. Sorry. Sorry. Back up here, I want to come in to there and then start pulling it up to the sky just like so. And I'm going to, if anything, I'm starting to hump it up. I'm humping it. Okay, why? Why are you humping it for? Because the sun's here. Now I'll just get the brush sideways on the tips, coming down into that yellow, and I want to transfer the yellow and orange together, so I'm sort of crisscrossing it like that. You can do that, see? You can do that. Okay, speed it back up again. Straight across the colour again, and we've got a beautiful transition there. Start at the top again. Now I need more paint there, I don't have enough. Rub it in at the top, bring it down to that orange colour. There we go. Crisscross it in the corners, crisscross it everywhere. Just moving my camera so I don't get it pulsating. Now I'm going to the tip of my brush and I'm stroking that into the sky there. I'm not going to come too much into that orange because I'll end up getting some brown there, which I don't want. Are you there? Very tip of the brush. Now what you can do just to enhance it is we can put the littlest bit of um, dioxine purple just in the corners there. So I'm just going to put a dollop on the easel and just, just a bit there. See, I've, I've stamped it on. I'm controlling how I want it instead of wondering how it's going to go if I brushed it on. Just control it. Set it in there like that because I just want that bit dark. Okay. Now I'll give that a bit of a wipe. Okay. And then bring that across the top. Tip of the brush. Swerving it down like that. Now come across, straight across the sky again. And we've got some beautiful, simple, effective dark corners up in the sky. When I take the perimeter tape off, you'll see what the guru had done. Now I want to get the slightest white glare here. So what I'm going to do to do that is I'm just going to grab some titanium white, just like that. I'll put my pouncer in there. And this is going to help me blend it. The the sky is still quite, oh, I hope it's a bit wet. Yeah, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. 
and I'm just going to get a glare right around there like a football. Put that down, grab a blending brush, which I need to get done quite quickly because I don't have too much retarder in here. And I want to blend this into the yellow first before I come up to that orange bit. I'm making a glare. I'm in the yellow bit, the yellow bit, the yellow bit only. Now wipe the brush because you're picking up too much white and coming back here. You want this to fade away like that. Just up to that orange bit. Stop, just do there. So you can do it. It's easy, you can do it. I'm going to do the same over here. Blending that through there like that. This is just giving an intense glare. It's not like a, a moon shape, sun shape circle in the sky. Now I've cleaned the blending brush and now I'm going to dance it into the orange bit there. Boom, -bitty boom, and we've got our glare there, said the bear. Now I can pull it. It's just a glare there. How's that, said Matt. All right, I've achieved what I was after. All right, there we go. I do need to give the top area a bit of a dry now, just so I can start incorporating the lower half of the painting. Okay, I've given it a bit of a dry. I'm grabbing some more titanium white and I want some gray. I've got grays already mixed up for filming purposes. It's quick, but you can just mix up a mid-tone value of gray. I will get rid of that pouncer so it won't go all dry and skanky on me. I'll put it in the bucket of water. And I want a little bit. Where did it go? I've still got some on the board there, so that's fine. I'm just going to grab any flat brush. And I want to mix up my lower range of clouds here. So I want to get some of the permanent linseren. Let's see how we go here. And mix up. Both sides of the brush. If you're going to mix up with a brush, get it on both sides. Okay, we want that a bit more greyer, a bit more greyer. There we go. How you going? How you going? And these are kind of going right down to the horizon line. I wonder if this brush, I'll try this brush. I'll give it a go. It's a, it's a munted up. Um, flat, look at it, it's munted, munted to buggery. Now my horizon line's there, I want these clouds, so I'll, these are what's going to enhance that colour there. Now see when you do a cloud, I just want to show you, watch, I'll put it in there, but see how I've less left bits open, let's call it open open areas on the inside, right? Watch what you do with that. Let's grab a better brush. That one's a bit um, buggered. I can, it's going to put lighter values of that grey. Hang on, let me see. Is it working? I let it dry too much. I pretty much got to put it on straight away. Well, it's not working this way because I've already dried it. If it's wet, you can do it. So I'm just going to use this brush and tangle along like this all the way along my horizon line, getting some up, uppy bits and, you know, fluffy ball bits. So long as it's right down to the horizon line, right down past the horizon line. <laughs> See that how it's a bit open? I'll, I'll make that a bit solid there. Here we go. This brush is stupid. I've got to change it. I can't do nothing with it. Look, so I'm hopeless with this brush. So let me <laughs> get rid of that one and find another one. Where is a, I'll use a filbert, filbert, filbert. Where are you, Mr. Filbert? I've got a couple of filberts and I, here we go, found it. Okay. Where's the camera? Okay. Yeah, this is a bit better. I can twist it, get cloud action going right down to the horizon line. I've got to do this pretty much all the way along the horizon there. Uh, just to that point there where the headland's going to be.
I'll keep coming past that a bit. That way, if any low bits are there, it'll be in its right spot. Okay, I'm just bombing that on like that. How's that looking in the camera? Not too bad. Grab some more of that paint. I'm finding myself having to mix a bit more as I go because there's not quite enough there. Now with those clouds, you just want the odd one. Where are we? Let's say here above it on its own, something there like that. Oh, I don't like the way that's like that. I'll get him up a bit. There we go. Uh, we'll get something maybe here. Not, not too massive, not too massive. Maybe something here. And we could probably get something here. How's that? That will do it, that will do it. I'm gonna get a bit of blue now, just in that brush. It's still got the gray in there like that. This cloud here, we've got a bit of blue within there, the bottom of it. Oh, I'll take some of that off the brush. There we go, and what else have we got there? Now I'm going to grab some more of the grey, just like that now on the brush. I've gone from that colour, mix it with that, used it. Now I'm just grabbing some grey. So it's probably got a little bit of blue in there, just like that. I missed a, um, where are we? I just noticed a super chat donation there from Apana Mogra. Thank you very much for your super chat donation. Much appreciated. Okay, that blue... I want to, I'll get some of that off the brush. I want to ease that down into that colour there. There we go. We eased it in there. See, you can do that, eh? Once you know what to do, you can do it. It ain't hard at all. Okay, I've given that a bit of dry. Now I'm going to paint in the water. Grabbing me putter on a brush. It's still filthy dirty. I've got the grey here. Oh, you idiot. Uh, shivers. Shiver me timbers. Yeah, I've got to get the craft paint on there first to help that grey glide across the canvas, sorry. And before I do, I want to get some tape across my horizon line just to get it nice and lovely. Now when you're putting tape on your horizon line, I've just rubbed the tackiness off on my clothing there. Now, there's my horizon line there. See where my thumbs are? I've said it many a times. I just press it on there. And then the side I'm painting to, I just tap that down like so, okay? I'm not going to rub the living buggery out of the whole lot, out of the whole surface. Just this edge, like that. And that's on there. Now we're going to grab this. Oh, that's all right. It's got the watercolours in it anyway. And I'm getting the watercolours because the watercolours are going to be, uh, what do you call it, grey, blue, grey. Trying to hold me burps back because my microphone will pick them up. You'll hear, the, you'll hear me burp like a bugger. Okay, there we go, there like that. I want to get some more of this here. So this is just a craft paint mixed with the bluey grey colour. Beautiful there like that. I'm going to grab the biggest flat I can find, which is probably this one. Pick up some cerulean blue here like this. And I want to incorporate that into the water and I want it to be about one so I want it to be about here so instead of painting it on I'm going to stamp it on because I've got more control look at this control I've got I've got control of this all the way down to there and when I blend this in I don't want to blend it too much where it's gone and pretty much here pick it up again using the side of the brush not the tip the side just to get that on there 
So it'll have a more of a blue flavor on the corner there, the nice cerulean blue. Let's see how that goes. Now I've got the brush here. Let's, there we go. Too easy. Bang. Over here. Right into the middle now from one side. Too easy. Bang. That is it. And I could probably get some on there, uh, dioxine purple. How's that going to go? Is that too dark? It is a bit, so I'll light that up a bit. Dioxine purple. There we go. I got the dioxine purple and I stamped it on here like that just to get these darker areas where I wanted it. I'll give this, put it on a brush, a bit of a wipe, and I want to slowly. Blend that into the water as well, like that. Whoa, whoa, yes. Now these ones can be straight, and that one's right out against the horizon line. There we go, just like that. Bang. Grab some water on my toothbrush, and then start pulling it into that white paint. Okay. And probably... Just here and there, is pull my glove up. I'll get some kind of, whoa, easy. What I might do, because these are too too blobby, I'm going to grab my putter on a brush and pull them. So where do I put that putter on a brush? And lightly pull them, just so we've got that bit of glitter there, bit of light, there we go. Get a bit more there. That's it, nice little ones, there we go, beautiful. That'll do. Now I can pull that tape off and hopefully it's not gonna have a white line there. You yeah, see, that's beautiful. See how it's not sticking to all here because I didn't press the living buggery out of it. All right, uh, I wanna do this foreground now. That's pretty dry, I can do that as it is. I've got some burnt umber. I've got some <coughs> black, a bit of black. Okay, burnt, and I've got white there. So I'm going to get the burnt umber first and put in my, first let's get a little bit of white into there. I don't want it too burnt umber, I want it a bit savoury. There we go, look at that, both sides of the brush, mix it up. Now it's nice and sharp. I'm going to start from here, boom, and I'm going to come up to about here, boom, and I'm going to come to about this point here, there, there, there. This way I'll have confidence in stroking my painting like that. Okay, now I'll put, I'll cut it in. There's the edge I want. Boom, I'm just going to that, follow on to that. Can't go wrong. And over here, cutting it into that edge. Because you just can't see where the water's laying onto this sand here. There's a bit of a downhill part there, okay? Which helps us not have to paint it in. Now I'm going to, see I'm painting on raw canvas here. I haven't got that craft paint underneath it. You can feel the difference it makes. I'm going to have to go a bit lighter. Yeah, that's the colour I want. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now, see that dark edge? I hate dark edges on stuff. If you ever see a dark edge on your paintings, get rid of them. Blend them in to the, to the inside of the painting. So we've pretty much got our foreground on like that. Beautiful, looks great, looks wonderful, feels great too. I'm just fixing it up there, there we go. Now I'm going to grab just some more of the burn number on its own and just kind of lace in some, just like this. I could, would, should dry it, 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just lacing some of the darker bits in here. And I want to pull them. There we go. And I'm going to dry this so as I can add some stones and rubbish into it. Where are we up to? Now, I'm going to grab some black and burn umber mixed together. Just so I can get some mumble jumbly bits and bobs out here, which is in the reference pit. It's all like bits of scraggly seaweed and stones and rocks and garbage there. Boom, 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 boom. This is just black and um, burn number. Now, see how I'm, see when I smashed it there? Because I've got big hard edges. I don't want that on the painting. I want the painting to have broken up, scratchy, lacy looking edges like this. Now, I've got a smaller brush and I want to get some. On the ground there. Oh, golly. Uh, I want another one right in front of here and on the in front of the water there, like that. I'm pulling a tail on it towards the four o'clock ish position. Another rock here. Just there. And pulling a tail on it like that. That one's a bit useless. I'll make that one look a bit more worthy. A uh, nice big one here. That's it. And, and in between here, oh, what happened to me? Brush. In between here, we have some probably round, round stuff as well, like rocks that'll do and then we're just going to subtly those rocks that i just put on just want to subtly give them a bit of light so grabbing me burn umber i better dry that brush because i washed it but it's still damp grabbing the burn umber and some white Don't want it too bright. And we just want to scratch the tops with some light hitting them, okay? How yeah, good is that? Yeah, you can probably go a little bit brighter. Now the tops of these rocks, dry them if they're too wet. And on the very tops, I'll wipe the paint off the brush. And I'm just getting a little bit of a highlight on them. Not too much, but you need enough just to make it say g'day. These ones in here. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to put this headland in, so I want to use my flat brush and I'll grab some simple forest green, I'll put that down here. I want a really dark green for this. Let me get that where I want it so I can see. Okay, so my brush is filthy, I'm just going to wipe it. I'm just going to grab some forest green, dark as buggery, a bit of black in there. There we go, look at that. Now I need it a little bit wet just to grab that transferring momentum. And you want the bottom of this reasonably level, so we'll get the bullshit stick and we'll put a bullshittingly straight line. Now you want the line, I love doing the line just under the horizon, I don't like sitting it on top there. So we'll come from about here and then just, there's me bottom of me headland. I'll get it. There we go. And it's going to come up. It's quite a big one. 
quite a big one billowing up there like that. I'll get rid of that stick. Now I'm just going to block this in. Everything's had time to dry, it's great. Now I want that a bit, yeah, like that. It's one of those headlands. You know those ones? Now I just simply need my filbert and I'm just going to get that's dark green. I want the bottom of that kept dark. I'm just going to simply grab some yellow. And now we'll, I want to mix up a yellow green down here. Okay. Not too bright, just still dark, but enough to show on top of that headland. And then I want to come from the top and just don't leave a dark bit at the top. Mate, you've seen me do this a million times before. I pretty much want this down there to the bottom. There we go. That's our headland there. That'll do. Grabbing the burnt umber and a nice round brush, I'm going to use, I want this brush here. Where are we? And the burnt umber here because this pandanus is going to make some beautiful I want them nice and sharp I'm going to wet it a little bit so I get nice transferring And coming to a point there. Hopefully this is going to look like they're going in the painting and out of the painting and all sorts of stuff. That's why it's casting massive shadows. Now I'm going to grab the greens, which is, I'll grab it over this side here. I've got like a, it's running out. I've got like a, um, what do you call it? Green oxide and viridian green and sap green. Pretty much the three greens I want. All right, now I want to grab some of the this colour here. That, that flat's too big because I've got a smaller one. Here we go, this one here. I want to use a flat. So I'm going to use this colour here. Now these branches, these leaves, they're kind of stars everywhere like this. That's why I'm using a flat to try and get that procedure going. Now there's going to be bits of leaves here. I can join all this up with other little twiggy branches, but we've got the main branches in there, okay, so to speak. Okay, so that obviously has a quick dry. Then we're going to grab some of the darker green, which is the viridian green. Okay, and just some bits of, oh, careful. You want some bits of dark in all of this, just scattered around, twisting around, playing with it. This is going to bring it home to the guru. 
this sort of behavior. Just getting these darker values within there. I'm looking for the bits that are already dry. And then once I've finished filming, I can do the rest off camera, but you get a gist of what the guru's up to and what I'm thinking. But you need all these darks and lights within your greens to make them look the part. And a bit up here. Now I've used the light and the dark. I'm going to grab a bit of medium green. I'll just quickly wash that brush. Now the medium green, which is the sap green. Now that's pretty much the same colour. I'm going to put some dots there. Where's my yellow? There it is. I'm just pulling some yellow, cad yellow there, like that, just to get that variant going. There we go. Let me just check that. Beautiful. A little bit more. There we go. I'll give that a little bit of water, not too much. And this is going to... Highlight some of these leaves now. Now, what I could have, would have, should have done is probably put this colour. That's not yellow enough. I'm mixing more yellow with it. Um, I could have put the dark on first, but this is still going to work. Where are we? There we go. I can put darks back if I cover too much of the darks up. You got me? I'm just looking for the dry spots. And when I add those inner twigs to all this, you'll see just how it plays with everything. And we've got three different flavours of um, green there. How's it looking? Yeah, not so bad, I suppose grabbing that same liner brush I used and I want to grab the I'm grabbing the burn number with some black and then some of these will go like this and we're able to put the finer detail within this structure see there Bits in between, still very wet, but you know what I mean. Now grabbing this big brush, this flat brush, I want to grab the burnt umber, the dark variety of burnt umber, which is burnt umber mixed with black. So I've got the burnt umber, mixed with black so it's the darkest grade first and I want to get my so he's coming from where's my camera so he's going to come from about here okay and he's going to come all the way along to about there somewhere and then start jutting up to about there okay there's me line so I'll get that side brushed in. Now this top bit's got to be a lot thinner now, so you might even have to change brushes. I'll get the, um, from about here, coming out there. Okay. Boom and get this side nice and tight as well, because this is in focus, this bit here. I'm grabbing some grey. This paint that I just put on, I'm grabbing some grey into that mix before I put the purple highlight on. Not too much, just about like that. That's fine. And I want to come across the top of this right from the edge and I want to place it on there and let it 
break up and scratch up and debris itself about like up there. It's fading away. Get right to that one edge there. There we go. Like that. Scrumble it in. Where to go? I might have to dry it a bit, but there we go. Just on this brighter bit here, all the way up this band here, it's there. Just put a little bit more white, you'll see what it does. There we go, you can see it now. That's it, that's what I wanted. I wanted that purpley, reflective look. I wouldn't mind a little bit more blue in it if I could help it. I'll see if I can get a bit going there just to see what it's going to look like because that's a bit... Yeah, there it is, that blue. Lucky you can't see my face. It's squinted and screwed up so bad. <laughs> Getting all this in there. Oh, like that. Yeah, there we go. All right. I want that flat again, this one here. Now I'll start from dark. We'll just finish that palm tree. Uh, uh, we want, where's white? Down here. Let's move that. Look at all this paint here. Where's my burnt umber? I need some more burnt umber. Now, I'll start with burn umber. Just to get the, um, this palm going. And this will have, this is the dark color first and I'll lighten it up. So from there, we're gonna pretty much come bang like that, like that. This will be a little bit, better hopefully than some palms you've seen me do. I'll get that there, that there. And that there. Now I'm gonna get some white into that and get a nice brighter version of that paint that I've just put on there. <laughs> Dry. And There we go. And I can always add darks later when I want to detail. When you finish a painting, sometimes you might need to come back and just detail the bugger. Now, starting with the dark paint, I'm using the green. I'm grabbing the sap green and the viridian green, just mixing them together because I want to get the dark greens on there first. I've got a little bit of, oh, a bit of too much black. <laughs> this is a dark green. So I'm coming from within there. I'm doing it kind of blobby, but you'll see why in a minute. I'm gonna have a, a branch coming out here. Just tucked in there, something there like that. And I want one coming out here like that. Whoa, there we scratch it up here and there we go, scratch it up. It's very dark. Up there like that. My God, it's not. All right, that's 150. Let's go up to there. That is dark. What's going on with this? Oh, 
oxide green, the green oxide. I've just gone up and down like that, so to speak. And I'm making, trying to make a branch come towards us there. Trying to is the word. Can you see this colour? Okay, that could pretty much do it. Let's put, oh, you idiot, I didn't want it that big. I'm gonna to have to make it that big now, that'll do. Now we want the yellowy green. So picking up the CAD yellow, on top of that, mixing it in the brush, there's that green oxide. And we're going to highlight just little bits of that palm. I'll put a little bit of brown with the mix because it's a bit too green. And we want to get some bits dripping off there, just different variants. over that dark colour, see? I'll fix that bit there up later because I went too blobby there. I, I, I did, as they say in my world, I stuffed it. <laughs> see this dark bit here now? We'll put a bit of dead bit there, bits in there, bit of dead bit coming off there. Just a whispery old palm. Grabbing that dark colour again. Where is it over here? Just to. to oh my god. There we go. Get that there. Get this colour here. All right, let's whack a frame on this and see how she looks. There we go, we've got a tropic sunset with our palm there, the water there, a bit of a headland out here. I'll finish that off off screen, I'm not gonna have enough time. And something like that, I know you can do it. All right, that was a lot of fun, something different, bright and colorful. I hope you enjoyed this. Check out the links in the description below. Share, like, and subscribe and tell your friends if you like what I'm doing. But if you're not too happy with what I'm doing, you be sure to tell everybody. Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.